Now when we talk about percents, it's really important to, to consider the base of a percent. Uh, a great example is while Nixon was president, his administration argued that marijuana was a gateway drug. Uh, and they claimed that 80% of marijuana smokers went on to use harder drugs like cocaine. Now it turns out this isn't true. Uh, now it turns out that if here is the world of marijuana smokers, mar I can't even spell mara wanna smokers then it turns out here is the world of of hard drug users now it turns out what is true is that of the hard drug users 80% of the hard drug users had used marijuana but it's not true that 80% of the marijuana users had used hard drugs. In fact, it turns out only, only 1 in 2,400 marijuana users actually go on to use harder drugs. Okay, so now let's look at another example. There are about 75 QFC supermarkets in the U.S. Uh, and Albertsons, another supermarket store, has about 215 stores. So let's compare the size of these two companies. So the first thing we might do is look at the absolute difference between the two companies. So if we take 215 minus 75, we get 140 store difference. Now if you were to write an, uh, you know, a paper and say, Albertsons has 140 more stores than QFC, that doesn't really mean much by itself. Um, because 140 out of 75 is, is, is a pretty big difference. But if it was 140 out of 2,000, then that wouldn't be such a big difference. And that's why a relative change is usually more useful. Now, there's a lot of different relative, relative differences we could calculate, though, uh, depending upon what we use as the base. So if we use QFC as the base, then we get 140 out of 75 is 1.867, uh, which would tell us that Albertsons uh, is 186.7% bigger than QFC. Again, this is relative to QFC. Albertsons is 186% bigger. Now, if we use Albertsons as the base, though, then we would get, uh, let's see here, 0 0.651, which would tell us that QFC is 65.1% smaller than Albertsons. Now, in both of these cases, we're talking about the difference. These are percent differences. Now, we could also talk about the size of Albertsons relative to QFC, or QFC relative to Albertsons. So, for example, we could say that, um, so if we talked about QFC relative to Albertsons, now notice we're not using the difference now, we're using the actual sizes. Uh, you know, here we get 0.349, and so we could say that um, QFC is 34.9% of the size of Albertsons. Now, this is not talking about smaller than or bigger than as a relative difference, but it's talking about one as a percentage of the other. And notice that all three of these percents are different, and in fact, there's another one we could find which would tell us that Albertsons is, you know, 2.8 times the size of QFC. And so it's really important to consider the base of a percent when you are sort of analyzing what that percent means.